morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. We're going to be doing a tier three coating package on this X5, but I just want to uh, cover with you guys the prep steps that I take to coat a vehicle. Yes, first of all, this thing is not really scratched at all. It's fresh off the lot, has really no damage on it. I've gone over the whole thing. There's like hairline scratches here and there. There's some dullness, which is why I'm giving it, you know, a one step. You should be giving it a one step anyway. Um, and it's, it is making a difference in the clarity of the paint for sure. There's some water spotting on the hood. It's very light. I already took it off with WSP, which is an acid water spot remover. And then we'll be one stepping over that. Um, but the one step that I'm using is just a Lake Country Force black pad with M210, which is water soluble on a cordless DeWalt DA. And um, the denatured alcohol that I use to prep the panels takes that M210 residue right off, no problem. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So let's do it i am just going to kind of blast over the whole passenger side and fast forward it um, it's relatively simple i'm just going to be putting a small bead on each panel polishing it wiping it off and then uh, prepping the panel Now there are a couple of areas that need a little extra attention just below the door handle on the, on the front door and just below the door handle on the back door. There's a little bit of scratching so I'm going to fix those real quick and then we will get to um, prepping the panel by removing all of the polishing oils and then uh, moving on to uh, the coating process. To simplify things I'm just going to demonstrate this on one panel. So what I do is I take a clean application towel, my denatured alcohol, this isn't diluted or cut, I soak the towel, not the panel, kind of like applying a silica or polysiloxane sealant, you just want to go over it quick, buff it down, get all the areas, do the top. Right, it's not giving you an excessive amount of uh, stuff, right? Now I have just a quick drying towel just to kind of get any residues lifted. I can feel immediately under the towel that the panel is very grabby now versus the slipperiness that it was after the polishing. That's a good sign. So I just use some CarPro masking tape and I just do kind of a pull test or tack test, press it on really good. And then it's taking a lot of effort for me to pick this off. As you can see, it's, it's adhered really well. Okay, so I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up or not, but I think it will. I have it on the wide lens setting. This is the polished side. This is why I like 210 because even with 210 on here, it still has really good pull strength. So you can tell that the polishing oils are not really impeding any kind of adhesion. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that the panel is clean enough to coat. It's just telling me whether or not I have um, an excessive amount of polishing oils getting in the way of my installation. We've prepped our panel. This isn't like super complicated. You put your coating on your applicator. I like to saturate, this is a new new applicator pad. So these are uh, auto fiber saver pads. And I just put it on and I don't overthink it. I just smear it on. It doesn't need to go on in any particular pattern like some people say on YouTube. It doesn't need to go in cross hatches and fuck on it. Shit and nonsense. Stop wasting your time trying to be geometrical with your fucking coating installs. Just put the shit on and move on. All right, I like to double over the panels um, after it's done like its initial flash, which this stuff takes forever to flash, but I like to go over it a couple times. All right, just make sure your coverage is good and that you're kind of 
picking up any heavy uh, residue. Helps off, helps with the wipe off. This particular coating, I let sit for about 10 minutes. It's about 57 degrees in here. So that's how we put it on and then taking it off in 10 minutes is just as easy. So we're done removing the coating off of the passenger side of the vehicle and um, usually about five minutes after I do this, I'll apply the infrared shortwave heaters onto the panels to make sure that the coating uh, cures fast. So that way when the vehicle is delivered, um, the, uh, the wait period is much shorter. So what I do is I just take the light, bring it over here, we'll maximize our timer. Um, Verify we're at max heat. We're at max heat. We're gonna get about 16 to 18 inches away from the panel. I'm gonna drop this down just a little bit. So I was working on a Land Rover not long ago. And it's a little bit higher of a door. Then it'll sit overnight another, you know, it'll sit another 20 hours before it's delivered. So the coating will be 100% ready to go. Literally that easy. People overcomplicate the shit out of putting on a coating. But it can be difficult for a normal user, somebody who is not a detailer, if you don't know how to fix your mistakes, if you don't know how to level the high spots, if you don't know how to level the coating, how long to wait, how does humidity, humidity and temperature take a, a part in how the product cures, how does the product work, what is it sensitive to, you know, you have to know how to educate your customers. So that's pretty much it, guys. Take care, and until the next video, ta-ta.